So quite often I see in my comment sections on videos, oh, this guy thinks he is a great dancer. He, he thinks he's so amazing. When have I ever said that? Point to me to a comment or a video I've ever said that I'm amazing and great. And also when you post online, people just assume that you're supposed to be a professional dancer because you post online, when that's not the case at all. So for those of you who may not know, uh, about two, two and a half years ago now, some of my videos started blowing up on TikTok. And I had no idea how to dance. Never taken a dance lesson day in my life. All I did was go to my local country bar called Honky Tonk here in Charleston. And I saw people line dancing and I saw people swing dancing. And I was like, man, that looks pretty cool. But I don't know the name of swing dancing. But you get told how to two step, you know, take two steps to your left, one back to the right, to the left, one back to the right. And then you learn all these like cool moves, you know, you're spinning girls around, dip them, but you don't understand the concept of dance. So as my videos are, you know, blowing up and I'm gaining hundreds of thousands of followers, a lot of people don't realize I gained, I think 300,000 followers in like a three, four month span two years ago. Um, on TikTok and I start getting more notoriety and I'm traveling a little bit and like people have seen my face and they enjoy my video. So they're like, hey, where'd you learn how to dance? How'd you learn how to do all that stuff? I know nothing about dance. I don't know how to count. I don't know the names of anything. So I genuinely wanted to learn. I was like, well, man, I'm like, if I'm gonna be seen by all these people online for, for dancing, maybe I should learn, you know, a thing or two. So, you know, I call my local ballroom studio. I meet with Anne Marie, uh, who's absolutely amazing. And she starts teaching me stuff. And originally I just wanted to learn uh, what's called West Coast Swing. I'd seen some videos online of people doing it. I thought it looked cool. Well, next thing you know, I'm not just learning West Coast Swing. I'm learning salsa, bachata, cha-cha, rumba, merengue, East Coast Swing, West Coast Swing, two-step, Lindy Hop, Shag, uh, Foxtrot, Waltz, Tango, Club Swing. I don't know how many dances I just named, but I'm learning all those in the next in two, two years now. I think I just passed my two year anniversary at the ballroom studio. So I'm, I'm learning all this. Yeah, so I, went, I blew up in April, so it's been about two and a half years since I went on TikTok and I went to the ballroom studio six months after that. So I just wanna learn how to dance. I've been bringing you guys along with the ride, but so many people are so either, I don't know, I mean, a lot of mean people in here, so this video isn't for them because I really don't care because there are a lot of trolls out there. But there are some people who may be genuinely confused or genuinely just curious, um, you know, about what's going on here. So in the Arthur Murray program, you have bronze one, two, and three, maybe four, I can't forget, but you have bronze, silver, and gold, and then you go, you know, different levels in bronze. I'm only bronze two in Arthur Murray. So again, I don't claim to be some amazing dancer. I'm not, I may be one day, I don't know, but I think the process a lot of people don't understand is that I've been doing this for two years and I've learned, I think, anywhere between 15 and 20 different styles of dance in the last two years. So when you take somebody who knows nothing about dance whatsoever and you start teaching them, when I first go in there, I don't understand what a quick and a slow is or a syncopation. I don't know. I have no idea how to count. I have no idea how to even properly lead a woman when you're out there dancing. Or sometimes the guy had danced with men. So in dancing terms, we call that a lead and a follow. So I have no idea how to lead. I don't know how to get a follow from point A to point B. This is also if I had to learn, be to learn how to talk. Well, when you first go in there, they don't just teach you, and a lot of times people say, oh, Donnie, you have, you have no rhythm whatsoever. I'm like, okay, well, that's gonna come in time. Cause that's like kind of like a third thing you have to learn in, in dance. The first thing you're gonna learn is how to actually dance. You're gonna understand the concept of it. You need to learn what a quick is. A quick is gonna be one step on one beat of music. A slow is gonna be one step on two beats of music. A syncopation, which is what you're gonna see in a cha-cha, is gonna be two steps on one beat of music, okay? So these are all concepts that I have to learn. Now, once I learn that, you give me that knowledge, okay, now that I know that, now I have to listen to the music. 
So now I have to decipher whenever a song comes on, is this a tango, is this a cha-cha, is this a rumba? And obviously different styles of dance can go to that song, but in most cases there's gonna be one, maybe two style of dance that fits better with that song. So now I have to learn how to decipher, okay, this is a cha-cha beat, or West Coast is gonna go best with this, or you can do two-step to that. So now, for a long period of time, once you teach me those concepts, I now have to then listen to music and learn how to listen to music and say, okay, this, should, this dance should go with this song, and then you have to learn how to find the beat. So when you're dancing to like a salsa, for example, I don't grow up listening to Latin music or even cha-cha. Like there's some obviously um, American songs that you can cha-cha to. Um, but if you're doing a Latin cha-cha, you're gonna be li listening to Latin music. I've never, I didn't grow up listening to Latin music. So for me to sit there and find the beat to a salsa song is a little difficult. Some dances I can, li or some music I can find the beat quicker than others. Um, tango, for example, has been something that I've picked up on pretty quickly, um, but some you really struggle with. So those things take time. That takes like a year just to learn how to listen to a song and decipher, okay, this should be a shag, this should be a West Coast, whatever. Okay, well now, that's great. Now you know the concept of dance. Now you can understand it after the first year. And I'm doing this in 20 different styles. So many people you know, that I see, they just do one, they might just two-step, or they might do two-step and West Coast swing, um, or they might just do West Coast and East Coast, and that's what they focus on, because that's what they do typically out of bars. Unless you ballroom dance and do ballroom competitions, there's n really not a real reason to learn how to tango or foxtrot. Um, obviously, typically, in most areas I've been to, you either have country bars or you have Latin bars, where you're typically gonna do bachata, salsa, and merengue. Those would be the three things you do at a Latin club, and most country bars, you're gonna be doing line dancing, two-step, or West Coast for the most, for the most part. Um, so now that I learned the concept of dance, now what I'm gonna have to do is now I need to learn how to lead the woman. There are obviously a lot of different cues. So I have to dance where I want to on beat, but now I also need to move a woman along with me. And you gotta learn how to properly lead. You gotta learn about pressure. You gotta learn about all these different little cues that's gonna let the woman know where I want her to be and when, okay? So it's, it's, it's not just like cut and dry. So at this point, we haven't even talked about rhythm. This has literally been here recently, this is the first time we're focusing more on the technique because every different style of dance has a different characteristic to it. So like in waltz, for example, you're gonna be, there's a rise and fall in it. So when you're going up in waltz, and I'll just demonstrate for you guys. So when you're going up in waltz, you're gonna do a rise and fall. So you're gonna go one, two, three, right? Um, there's gonna be a, a, a rise and a fall. In that tango, you stay down the entire time. A lot of the smooth dances, like the um, waltz, foxtrot, and tango, you're gonna dance those heel to toe, and you're gonna learn how to get that weight going from one foot to the other on a heel to toe fashion. The Latin dances, let me see if I can get back far enough to see my feet. So the Latin dances, you're gonna step from toe to heel. So if you do salsa, you're gonna step from toe to heel. But in the foxtrot and tango, you're actually gonna step you know, here like this, right? Um, those are all things that you have to learn. And it's just a process that I'm going through. Um, even though like, for example, like when you're doing a slow and salsa, you know, you're stepping and holding for that beat, your foot might be holding, but there's still other action going on, right? So a lot of times when you see beginners dance salsa, it'll be like this, it'll go quick, quick, slow quick, quick, slow. But once you learn how to start to add some rhythm into it, the body's still moving on the slow, even though the foot's not moving, right? So you'll go quick, quick, slow, quick, quick, slow, you know, right? So those are things that I'm working on, things that take time. And now that we can actually address, because I've spent two years learning just the concept of dance, how to actually do it, to how to actually lead a woman on the dance floor so I can actually use these dances in competition or run around dancing for fun, um, so now we can start finally addressing some of that rhythm stuff. 
When I started doing this, Amory told me that, you know, hey, if you really want to be a good year dancer, you're a really good dancer, it's going to take you about three years to be like pretty solid and then, you know, five and you'll be pretty great. I'm in year two. Um, obviously, I know more than the average person. I've been taking dance lessons for two years. Most people have never taken a dance lesson. So do I have more knowledge than most people and can I execute most things more than the average person? Yeah, if I see you out somewhere, or, you know, you're, you see me and you have a question or you may show you a little something in the bar. Yeah, and I can explain to you the concept of dance because I've learned. Does that mean I'm the best dancer in the world? Does that mean I'm ever gonna be great? Am I gonna be Derek Hoff? I don't know, dude's been dancing his entire life. I've only been doing it for two years. Uh, same thing with Emily. She's been doing ballet since she was two. So she picks up this stuff a little bit quicker because she already understood the concept of dance. You're just explaining her the characteristic of each dance. And then she can execute it much faster because she never learned how to, she didn't have to go through the process of learning the um, concept of dance. She's known it since she was two. Um, so you just got to give it time. You got to understand. So this video is just for the people who might be curious of, um, you know, what's going on with me. Because I think some people think because you know, maybe I've dressed nice in some videos or I've had a number on my, you know, back in some videos that I'm a professional or that I teach. None of that's the case. I enjoy dancing for fun. So many people have, um, sent me so many messages just saying that they love watching my videos and it brings them happiness and it's gotten them through things. Um, that's a big reason why we post what we do. Um, you know, when I originally blew up and started posting, I just wanted to meet a woman. Like I was in my mid twenties and I was single and I want to get married and have children one day. So I thought dancing was a great way to meet a woman and guys learn how to dance. There is no shame in it. There's no shame moving your hips out on the dance floor. Just go out and do it. Women love it. It's the best way to meet people because there were so many times where I would go ask a girl to dance. I thought she was beautiful and I would talk to her for the four minutes while we're dancing, you know, out in the club and maybe you realize that the chemistry just isn't there. Maybe you don't have the best back and forth. Well, instead of me meeting a girl online and getting up and getting dressed and spending, you know, 50 to $100 on a dinner date somewhere or spending a lot of time going out to see if we're compatible, now I can figure out like a four minute conversation. Maybe it went decent, I can talk to her a little bit more. Um, or I can just go chit chat with her as the night went on and you're not spending so much more time and then it's just a normal, nice interaction to meet somebody. Um, so men, learn how to dance. Trust me, you'll thank me later that, like I said, there's zero shame in it. Don't worry about if anybody calls you names or picks on you, who cares? Um, the women love it. It's a, it's a super healthy way to meet people. Whether even if you just wanna go and socially interact with people, maybe you just want some new friends, learn how to dance, go to a club. If you just go ask somebody to dance, everybody has social circles. So if you don't know how to dance, you can go to a club and you're like, you just meet people and you're exercising, so you're feeling good, you're gonna learn new things, um, you're gonna meet new people, so I highly recommend it. Uh, I forgot what I was talking about before I went on that point um, for a second, but yeah, I think I was saying just, I I'm not any sort of professional, I just post this stuff for fun. Um, now, I will be honest with you guys, this stuff has become monetized uh, pretty early on with TikTok. I had artists and brands reach out to me and they were like, hey, we would love you know, to work with you to promote this new clothing line or this new song that we have coming out. Um, as of right now on YouTube, I am monetized. So the more views I get, the more money I do make. Um, so I'm very thankful for you guys. This is absolutely wild. This has become a part-time job. I want to put out content that you people at home love watching. Um, I want you guys to find it entertaining. I'm not, I'm not gonna get by on these videos by being Derek Hoff, because I'm not. But I can create a entertaining video for people to enjoy. You don't have to be the best dancer to be entertaining online. So I don't know if, um, you know, like I said, some of these people, I, I wanna let you guys know that that's where I'm at and that's what I'm doing. Um, that I'm not a professional, I'm doing this for fun. I'm gonna continue to get better. I'm gonna continue to bring you guys along. And I think the cool thing is when I post these videos of new things that I'm learning, you know, hopefully it translates to some of you guys out there. If you guys want me to do some instructional stuff from ballroom, let me know. I'm more than happy to 
post some instructional stuff of teaching you guys how to salsa or do what's called club swing. It's a basic beginner dance. You can use it at any wedding event you go to. Um, you and your partner or your plus one, you can go do this dance. It's super easy to learn. I probably can teach you guys in five, 10 minutes and you can take this out to any event you go to and people are gonna be like, how do you learn how to dance? And you're gonna be like, you know, watch some videos online. Um, so I'm more than happy to do that if you guys want. Um, I I'm truly am here for you guys because obviously I do have a girlfriend now so I didn't originally like I said I originally wanted to meet somebody and now that I have um, you know it's it's more so for the fans um, and like I said the money doesn't hurt either I'm not getting rich off this stuff at least not yet unless it continues to grow um, making some decent income yeah it's it's money for Emily and I to travel with um, and have fun with and, you know, explore some new things and meet new people and continue to travel and see new places and post, you know, post new content with people for you guys. Um, so yeah, so I think that's pretty much it. I just wanted to share my thoughts with you guys on that so you guys can get to know me better, get to know exactly, you know, what's going on uh, with my page. So like I said, let me know in the comments if there's anything that you guys would like me to see. Um, if there's anybody that you guys ever want me to collaborate with, let me know. I'll try and get in touch with them and see what I can do.